Recently, we have seen about your Active Directory of Azure and the different additions we have for your Azure Active Directory. So let us begin with our configuration of your Active Directory into our Azure portal. So this is our portal and now we are going to navigate to our, our Active Directory. So this is our Azure Active Directory. I'll click on it. And here very first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create our custom domain. And uh, this is the default directory which your Microsoft provide you. So whenever I want to create any particular domain, I need to use it as this particular ID and .com. But I want a simple name. So what I can do, I can go into your custom domains into your left hand side panel. Click on custom domain and I'm going to add a custom domain here. I'm going to add the name as test.com and I'm going to add the domain. So the complete domain name of this test.com will be again test.com.microson.microsoft.com. So it will be very big name. Okay, so if you have any subdomains you can add. Uh, generally it verifies whether your uh, name is correct. So it will check for the priority. As of now, I have don't have this kind of domain, so I'm not going to use it. So I'll be using the default domain, which my Microsoft has provided to me. So it is this, right? Uh, so this is too big because already we know uh, we are not having any our domain. So if you have any of your domain, so you can directly, you know, add this custom domain and it will be providing you the verifications. And once you verify, you'll be able to use your domain. So you need to register your domain over here. So as of now, uh, I'm going to create my user by this particular domain, which is available from your Microsoft. So this is a directory which is available. So whenever I'll be creating a user, it will be created as user uh, name dot, uh, you know, the uh, address and this particular complete domain name I need to provide because it is on your Azure. So let us see how we can do it. So very first, tab I'm going to use that is uh, users and groups I'm going to create my users first of all I'll look for my users so I have only one user as of now this is a member of your active directory I'm going to create a new user with name user1 user1 at rate and the complete domain name so it will verify it so it is verified now uh, whether you want to configure your profile so i'm going to configure the profile of my user one for testing purpose work info of this user one so for example this is um, employee one in your organization and department is your it you can create your this particular domains in such a way and then you can add a user and then we can define the properties first we need to add this user i'll click ok here this is the user profile properties uh, I can define like the source of authority will be from the Azure Active Directory and suppose if you have you know two domains or three domains it will list you you can select the domain uh, through which it is authorized to connect also you can select the group if you have created as of now I don't have any group so I'll keep it blank this is directory role which kind of user do you want this to be as so if you are user one you want it to as to be a standard user you can keep it global administrator you can keep it as and if you want to keep it as a local administrator you will be able to so once you click this global administrator you can see you have the full administrator right over all the directory resources if you click on limited administrator you will be able to get access to only this much right so um, we have role or roles of this users for billing administrator, exchange administrator, Skype for business administrator and so on. So just I'm going to keep it as a limited user. So by default it was the same. If I want to make it global administrator, I'll be able to when OK, I'll click. I'll make it as administrator here and then we uh, can define the password if you don't know what the password is because your azure by default provided the password i can show the password of it right this is the password i can copy this password and i can provide it to my user and create it so i'll keep this copy of my password into my notepad here 
for user one okay so same way you can create uh, a number of users over here and uh, you can also create a guest user who is not a I know uh, who is not going to get login always so you can create a guest user who will be the external user and he will be able to you know get access to your resources if you want to authenticate so uh, you know in coming videos we'll going to see how we can authenticate a particular user for some of your resources so i'm just going to add my external user as my guest user or we can uh, call it as guest one okay at the rate any of your domain name like if they have for example i have the domain name as your is one two three gmail dot on microsoft actually we don't have this user as of now dot com so it will send a personal invitation please find the access to our resource provided to you okay whatever message you want you can and invite so this invitation will be sent to guest one at the rate this particular domain so as of now we don't have this user created over here if you have this user he will get the notifications to get access to this particular account so it is sending the notifications it is inviting you invitation is sent so you can see here I got the invitation as of now I don't have a guest user one so it will temporarily create this user and this is the user which has been created once it is authenticated once that invitation is accepted from that user you will get this user icon and the complete ID of this user so uh, this is your user one which we have created and then you can see you have the groups so you can create the group over here for a certain user if you want I'm going to create a group with name group one at the description of this group member type assigned okay so I want to assign the uh, members here so I want to assign the user user one into this particular group you can select multiple users as well like I want to access my guest as well select this users and click on create so this group will be created and the users which we had will be moved into this particular group so we have created one group and uh, this particular group has two different members you can check into the members you can check the group property here you can check the owner who has created this particular group so it is not found yet group members group memberships if you have same with applications if you have deployed so as of now we haven't did anything over here so uh, into you know future videos we are going to get everything so into users you can see these are the users and you can see the members so it is showing you the member if you want to check whose member this particular users are so again you can move into your groups and you can change or check it into it next is a password reset so you can provide the self-service password reset to this particular users so it uh, reduces the cost of your support assistance to you know they set the password of your user you have an help desk support volume you have enabled mobile passwords whenever they require they can connect through their mobiles as well so these are the features generally we have and if you get a pral, you know premium of this particular active directory you get more of this particular features into you and the company branding if you want you can also go for a company branding but here this all are the premium one so we won't be able to access this so uh, as we have already discussed about this in two our videos like we have different premium accounts with uh, no, you know good features we have we can also go for a trial if you require that will do later and then you have settings so you can define the user settings whether you want your uh, you know uh, enterprise applications to be run or not what will be the company data you will be keeping over here or you know you are going to add the gallery to this particular access portal or panel you are going to um, register the applications so the user will be also able to register your applications here external users permissions you are going to define like the guest users permissions are limited yes 
so admins and users and the guest inviters role can invite so they will be able to invite even the admins as well as users members can invite yes guest can also invite if i don't want the guest can invite anyone i can make it new so say for security reason generally we do it and then the administrator portal restrict access to your azure ad administrator portal so if you want to restrict the administrator portal for your ad so you can provide yes or no so right now if if i'm providing yes i don't have any other user who has an administrative right to get access to all the things so i'm just going to keep it new because i'll be using my primary user we have already done everything and i'm going to save it same way if i move to back to my you know dashboard of your Azure so you can see here what you have done is actually it's displaying you over here on the active directory dashboard and then again you can register your device here if you want to register any device you can you know go into your enable setting you can register the devices which you have same way your application registration you can do here your application proxy you can do here you can check for the licenses you can connect your Azure AD so you can use Azure AD connect so that you can connect your Active Directory from your on-premises and synchronize those particular data. You can see on-premises applications also you can use. You can also use the health check or for this particular you know, applications which you are using as well as the servers which you have created. Same way we can also enable your mobile device management from here. You can add the applications uh, which can run from your devices and the benefits of adding the applications over here and so that we can provide the permissions to the users we generally create over here so it provides you a centralized control over the applications and who can use these applications into your active directory and here you also have the mfa servers that is a multi-factor authentications uh, where from where we can define the you know authentications to our particular users so there are multiple things into your active directory right now we have just seen the overview of your active directory how we can configure active directory how we can create users on it and um, into our later videos i'm also going to show you how you can provide the security using this active directory and how you can you know manage the permissions of the different applications which you will be deploying to your active directory so into our next video, we are going to discuss about the streamings, the streaming services, what generally we have into our Azure.